Oh, look and listen to this. Who says the depths of winter can't be beautiful? See the woods behind me there. Another relatively mild day. In a mild winter. And I just thought I'd do a quick video today. Just reflecting on where we are at the moment in our lives, in our world, as the sound of an electric saw shatters the piece. <laughs> Never mind, it's the way it goes. About how it's very important, I think, that we <clears throat> reflect on the wisdom of the, you know, the ancient teachers, the philosophers, the sages. those that we are heavily influenced by or try our, our very best to cultivate the connection that we have with for me nature it may be with God with whatever type of spirituality that you immerse yourself in and why am I saying that because well now more than ever, we, re we need to realise, yes, that we are individuals and that we, we fully embrace our individual sovereignty. And that is, that is key, as I always talk about for us all to do in order to, to bring about that better world that we all know is possible. But as well as embracing our individual power and sovereignty is to remember that we are part of something bigger than ourselves to tap into that natural guiding instinct to let ourselves be guided and that's I think all we need to do is to let ourselves to open ourselves up to that process to that higher power because right now with the way that the world is and how all our lives are nobody can really plan and that's okay that might be a good thing. I think that is a good thing because it's forcing people into the present. It's forcing people into reflecting on their problems, on our problems, and thus driving them more introspectively into themselves to reflect, to work out, to intuitively understand who we are, why we are, where we are, what we need to do. In order to get to the place where, as well as being able to reflect and to intuitively understand and to tap into our deeper essence so that we can get to a place where there can be a little bit more certainty that comes back into our lives because we do need that as well. But right now, we are facing deeply uncertain times and we can choose either to be scared, to be scared by the fact that we can't plan, to be scared by the fact and fearful that we don't know what's going to happen next or we can trust that something bigger than ourselves as our collective, as our spiritual collective is going, to, is going to naturally guide us provided that we harness our own individual power harness our courage, our authenticity and our truth and I think if we do that we will create that abundance we will create that greater truth and we will ultimately find ourselves in a world that truly is free, guided by that invisible but real presence. So we can have a vision and we've all got a common vision. And while we can't really plan beyond the end of today, right now, that's just the way it's meant to be for us. And we need to look upon that as a positive. Reclaim our individual sovereignty and power. Take control over the parts of our lives that we can and surrender the rest to whatever it is for you that is greater than you. And trust 
that that power will prevail, that that power is a good power, and that that power is there to guide us towards the light. So that's my message today on this beautiful midwinter's day. I hope you're all okay. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.